Hello, welcome to Arable Crop Production. In Arable, this Arable Crop Production lecture, we'll be looking at legumes. And my name is Mr. T.B. Solomon. First of all, we want to talk about the cost content. We have an overview of legumes, cowpea production, granite production, and soybean production. These are the four content we'll be looking at in this course arable crop in this sec section of arable crop production called the legumes lecture overview of legumes what are legumes legumes are also called pod podded fruits these are fruit plants of the pea family Fabaceae. The legume is one of the largest and most important flowering plants, constituting about 650 to 750 genera, 18,000 to 19,000 species of herbs, climbers, shrubs, and trees. It is divided into four subfamilies, which are Cesalpinoidae, which contain about, which consists of about 2,800 species. Mimosoidae, which consists of about 2,900 species, Papillonoidae, which consists of about 14,000 species, and Swazioidae, which consists of about 80 species. Most legumes are dehiscent fruits that release their seeds by splitting open along two seams. They are mostly, they have a line that in which this um, fruit split open okay those some such as the peanuts that is the granite and the carobs do not naturally open that means you have to open it yourself for you to get to the seeds inside the fruit um, the fruit so the fruits come in a variety of sizes and shapes many however are long and narrow and bear their seeds in a single line The largest legumes are borne by the monkey ladder and can reach up to 2 meters in length. At maturity, legume fruits are usually dry and peppery or hard and woody. The legumes of certain food crops such as snow peas, edamame and green peas are harvested while still green and fleshy. These are pictures of legume crops. The one up here is soybean. A soybean that is being that is growing in the field. This is one of an example of a legume that grows in a peppery form. Legumes furnish food for humans and animals and provide edible foods, fibers and raw materials for plastics. Many are grown for their edible seeds, which are high in protein and contain many of the essential amino acids. Legumes are naturally high in protein content. In fact, they have about 60 to 70 percent of crude protein. They are the crops with the most amount of protein in any crop that is being consumed by humans. So legumes are really high source of protein for human consumption for animal feed and they also have a high a way of replenishing the soil with nutrients when used as cover crops or grown alongside other crops whereby they fix nitrogen into the soil legumes indeed is an important crop to humans economic have an economic important to humans and so it's very very important that we study and know them as agriculturists and to know how to cultivate them and how to use them to our own benefit for in terms of product food production fiber production and also um, soil uh, improvement the important members of legume family include the bean chickpea cowpea lentil pea peanut soybean and tamarind uh, here you can see a tamarind fruit with the pulp inside here we have legume grains of different types
legume seeds which are also called pulses or grain legumes sorry that's a typo error it's meant to be all are the major source of human food second only to cereals they are more rich in protein content than cereal grains when legumes are eaten together with cereal they provide complete protein requirements okay there are certain protein contents that are not in um, legumes but are exhibited in uh, cereals so when legumes are eaten together with cereal they provide complete protein requirements in the body examples of legumes that are eaten by humans or they are used for food are arachis apogea, cajanus cajan, glycine max, phaxillus vulgaris, and a host of others. Legumes are also used as animal fodder in which soybeans are commonly used. Forage legumes commonly used as legume grass mixtures, clovers, medics, trefoils, and veggies. Why? These, these ones are mostly used in the temperate regions, such as areas in the United States and North America. Why Stalosanthes, Pureria, Lab Lab, Desmodium, etc. are used in tropical and subtropical regions, such as in Africa here. Yeah. They are used as uh, forage uh, legumes. So, this part of the um, um, overview of legumes just comes to describe to us what legume is what or generally legumes are what they are used for and how important they are i've told you before that legumes are uh, known as potted fruits okay they belong to the family fabaceae and they are very of economic importance to mankind because they tend to provide for food they contain high content of proteins okay uh, crude proteins close to 70 percent of the protein content are of crude nature and they're very vital to humans as when they consume them with cereals they tend to provide a complete protein requirement for humans and i mentioned a few examples of that the arachis apogea which is also which is a scientific name for granite okay glycine max fasciolus vulgaris and a host of others legumes are also used as animal fodder in which soybeans are commonly used Okay, so I talked about uh, the leg forage legumes such as the clover, medix, trefoils, which are commonly grown in the temperate regions, and the stylosantes and purera lab lab, which is commonly grown in the tropical regions. So, legumes are very important. I've showed you before examples of those legumes. We looked at the tamarind, other legumes, grains that are yeah, very beautiful in appearance. Okay, we looked at. Um, the different families which they belong to so this is an overview of legumes from thereafter now we will start looking at the cowpea production we'll look at um, granite production and soybean production so because of this the nature of this course there are so many things so we can look at all the legumes they are all similarly they are grown in the same nature let's say they have their growth rate are um, similarly the same they are not that uh, far from each other their uh, agronomic practices are also similar in terms of um, fertilizer requirement weeding uh, cultivation method and uh, land requirement or so soil requirements they are almost similar so we, that's why we are just looking at three crops the first two which is the cowpea production and the uh, gran granite production are uh, sim sim symbolic of human consum consumed uh, legumes while the soybean is uh, f that of animal food although humans also have consumed soybean when processed into soy milk okay so legumes are made into different forms they are used into different forms they can be used to make um, peanuts peanut butter they can be used to make um, soya milk and a host of other in, uh, important uses of legumes so uh, next class we'll be looking at cowpea production and we're going tense so this class is very brief and i hope you've got understanding of the overview of legumes so thank you for being a part of this class i hope to see you again in the next class bye bye for now